The Woodstock documentary. I've seen the first episode, so don't spoil it. Katie and I watched it. Have you seen this, Derek? I did, yeah. Uh, so good. All three episodes? All three. All three yeah, episodes? I watched it all. One night. It looks we like really, a I mean, living hell. <laughs> He'll kind of, I know, she'd just be like, Katie's, I had to keep reminding Katie, I was like, you don't, we don't have to go. It was <laughs> she was like, this, just watching this is it. my night, it would be my nightmare to be there. I'm like, we, oh my we're not, gosh. Katie, we're not going, we're watching it. You, you, yeah, you watch Netflix on a 4K TV. Katie thinks she's there. She, it's yeah. too, it's too <laughs> high down. She's like, get me out of this concert. <laughs> she thinks that if we had complete it, they'd like send you four tickets to Coachella and like, you got to stand <laughs> in the middle. I am, I have really good empathy, so I can really just picture myself in places <laughs> all the time. Well, yeah, the chiropractor could have told you that. Yeah. Um, yeah. It is, we're not ruining anything. It's, I mean, you kind of see the clips. Yeah. You know, it just, something's turns, about to be set on fire. Just fodder. goes downhill. Yeah. Um, corn's involved. Corn, corn, corn water, corn, corn two. Corn two. <laughs> yeah. Corn, <laughs> corn zero. Uh, dude, I know, I didn't know anything I didn't about know. that. No. I didn't know. I didn't know. But, uh, part of it to me, obviously, and you'll see, there's clearly a lot of things, just the infrastructure and planning they did poorly, but also even if they planned it all correctly, it still couldn't have gone that well. Just that music. We, a lot of us had watched it. So we listened to it ironically at the lake, but it's just like killing in the name of F you. I won't do what you tell me. Like really? that was the top songs. It was so violent. Hmm. Yeah. It kind of incites a certain behavior. Yeah. Or they had a, they're, they, so part of it, I won't, it's not really ruining really it, but they kept kind of asking the performers, like, you guys got to help us out here. Like, really? these, these people it's, are going nuts. Hand. Yeah. And it's kind of unfair. Like, like when we had that one show and they're like, we have a couple unruly people. Could you go out there and be like, make sure you <laughs> oh, yeah. stay seated and wear your mask? And I was like, no, that's not, not gonna, my job. We don't make announcements. So I, I don't blame the performers. Where It's Limp Biscuit, who's known to like, get you fired up. So it's uh -huh. to be like, guys, let's just behave. Okay. <laughs> you okay. We're getting a little out of hand here. Hey, what are they supposed to do? A little do? too limp. Okay. But they're Stiffing just, up that biscuit. But meanwhile, at one the of same them time was literally they, playing naked. <clears throat> it's like, you can't right. really. But they would, <laughs> they got to that part. The forwards go out and like do the opposite where gotcha. they would like, they were enjoying the rioting and yeah. like inciting more of it. But man, it blew my mind. I mean, right away, the, my first impression, I said this to the people I was watching it with, I was like, this feels like Fire Festival if people showed up. Yes. Because it was just like, yeah, just chaos. And I couldn't believe right off the bat. So if you guys don't know it, like the same guy who pl who organized Woodstock in 1969 organized Woodstock in 1999. Whole big thing. And uh, yeah, a ton of bands showed up, a ton of people showed up, but they didn't let you bring water in. Yeah. That was, that was like one of the first big things like, oh, this is not going to go well. It's like, we'll serve plenty of beer, but no water. <laughs> No water is wild. Yeah. Uh, there's 90 degrees or something. For like a three-day festival. People are sleeping overnight there. It's also there. just interesting because it's like, okay, yeah, don't bring in, you know, you can't bring in your outside drinks, whatever. It's like, but they were bringing in like ecstasy. So like, <laughs> yeah. just maybe if someone filled up a water bottle with vodka, like it's okay. Right. <laughs> like we know you got the molly in there, but. Yeah, for every one bottle of vodka and a water bottle, there's a hundred people bringing in actual water. It's like, I think I would take that probably. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, but it's, I don't run festivals. It is terrifying. I don't know. It was. I what I did it? a big fest. I did Austin City Limits in college, and the moment where it's like Drake headliner, where they just cram, you know, hundred thousand people crammed together. I didn't get near it. Yeah, it freaked me out, dude. I was like, I've been taken away in a crowd before. Like, <laughs> oh. I, I have. It was a parade. You know the movie Taken. <laughs> yeah. It was. I was in a foreign country. <laughs> oh my god, you were taken away. What I is was. That? Okay, you can't just say things like that. <laughs> I gear I clickbait, clickbait. No, I was. I, my, my wife, wife was, was abducted. <laughs> I Liam was Neeson taken. saved my wife. No. I was in um, London studying abroad, you know, fancy. And I, there was this parade. It happened to be the gay pride parade. And we were trying to get around it to kind of just explore the city. And where we were, we were kind of trapped back in an alley. There was no like other way out. So we had to go through the parade to get You're out. Trying to find an opening, like to like, shoot the gap. And it was so jam packed together that. Just super gay. <laughs> I did get, I got stuck in between men in Speedos wearing high heels. And, <laughs> They're like, thank you for your support. <laughs> and I could like, it was I such love a how the start of the story was I got <laughs> taken. And, and we're just, talking about like heavy <laughs> rock concerts and like the mosh pit and how scary and, like, that is. And like getting like abducted and trafficked. And she just 
friendly gay guys hug no, her too long? No. You- <laughs> it was such a tight crowd that I was physically like picked up and just being moved backwards without m- me moving any part of my body. Wow. Like a human and escalator. Frightening. So I had to, my friends formed a human rescue chain. They grabbed onto the wall that we were sitting near oh. and did like a chain to chain to like pull me back out. It was of like the you room. were in a, in a fast moving river or something. It really <laughs> was. You were going downstream. It was terrifying. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Take I feel that it happened to be a gay pride parade too. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I mean, that's how people get trampled. I, have, <laughs> I am a tall woman who I wouldn't think would get like trapped in something like that, but I was, I, I was know. gone. Getting trampled at a Limp Biscuit concert is one thing, but if you get managed to get trampled at a gay parade, <laughs> that maybe you maybe you, you do belong to someone. Life. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I glad say, you survived. Yes, yeah. thank you. You, thank you. You were able to strength out strengthen the the gay pride, but it was so it was a large parade. Yes, was it fun? I mean, not. Oh, I you was, guys weren't like going. It was like passing through. Passing through. We were yeah. We were just exploring the city, and we didn't realize the parade was happening, mm. and. Yeah, I was. I mean, I'm sure it was a great parade. I just was terrified. <laughs> yeah, you know the one part of the documentary, just episode one, that I actually thought was really cool is when Corn Corn Zero is performing, and everyone is bouncing up and down to their music. That was but sick. This, the like sound travels like differently, and it just looked like actual water waves. That was really cool. That was one of that the was. coolest like scenes from a concert I've ever seen. That was all. Awesome. You guys need to watch it. That was oh. so cool. Shout out Limp Biscuit. Uh, NHL hits. Yeah. Three. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. rolling. Yeah, rolling. yeah, yeah. 24 7 and complaining for a rain. Do you remember all that rap, dude? Came I back not. to me this weekend. <laughs> Maybe I will once I watched that part of it, but I do remember that song, NHL hits. Just, just hitting people, man. 